We have the total of deaths after 9-11 every single day around the country because of COVID. Having the knowledge that I do have regarding how these vaccines were developed and manufactured, I am completely confident that they are safe. These vaccines that are in use right now have gone through the same rigorous process that all vaccines must go through. I just didn't see that there was anything that would cause me to think that my life would be potentially at risk. I have a partner who has underlying conditions. And for me to feel safe, being around my partner every single day and for me to feel that he himself is safe being around me, I needed to make sure that I was not a carrier or a transmitter of the virus. I did have some initial hesitation given the expediency of the development of the vaccine compared to other vaccines. But after consulting with, um, you know, doctors in my family, doctors here at ACS, like Dr. Mendoza, um, you know, I, I really felt confident in the science behind the vaccine. I received my first dose of the vaccine at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. It's quite common to have fever, chills, body aches uh, that go along with having the vaccination. Again, those are not because the virus is injected into your body or that you're actually experiencing symptoms of having COVID, but it's your body mounting a response to something foreign in your body. I actually slept for 30 hours straight, but except to eat. Nobody died. Not a single person who participated. And they were talking about at least 40,000 people who participated in those clinical trials died compared to how many people are dying every day because of an infection. Even people that survive end up having everlasting challenges based on their experience of having COVID. And it's not just about an, your own um, risk, but every time you risk getting infected with COVID, you also risk infecting or transmitting the infection to somebody else. And it could be someone who's close to you. It could be somebody who lives with you. It could be someone that's, com that's completely indispensable in your life. Initially, I was torn. I'm just using the example of the Tuskegee experiment. Was a great example for us to look at and for us to say, hey, should I trust? There's been a lot of uh, good justifiable reasons um, to mistrust uh, medical institutions. I just fear that um, we don't take the opportunity to really look at the credible uh, information. I have spoken with um, many people um, and, and by the way, I consider myself to be a person of color. Um, and they have said to me, there's enough reliable information out there. Um, and it's coming from a very diverse group of people, right? These aren't folks who are predominantly white telling us, you must do this and this is why. One of the things I would like to say to people is that please trust the science and trust the data. The vaccine will help us get closer to normal, um, but we're not quite there with removal of the mask, even if you're vaccinated. Uh, what the studies have shown is that the efficacy is mostly to um, contracting the illness or so having severe illness. So it's not 100% that you won't obtain the illness, but you won't have the severe side effects of the illness. So if you are 
asymptomatic and contract the illness, then you can still spread it to someone else. So I still wear face coverings, I social distance, I wash my hands. That is how we slow down the development of those variants, those scary variants that we keep hearing about. Viruses mutate, but given the less chances for them to go from one person to another, you give fewer chances for them to mutate. We want to be around each other. I miss, right, the relationship that I have with my frontline staff, being able to sit in a room with them, being able to socialize with them, being able to learn from them and them to learn from me. All that I miss that you can achieve working virtually. So if we want to get to that place, we got to make hard decisions around doing what we need to do to make that happen. And that means the social distancing, the wearing of masks, and the vaccination. Mi gente, váyanse a vacunar. Los beneficios superan los riesgos. Por favor, hágalo por ustedes, por sus familiares, por sus amigos y sus compañeros. Tenemos que apoyar a todos que están trabajando fuertemente para erradicar esta pandemia. Y solo lo podemos hacer si nos hacemos vacunar. Piénsenlo bien, por favor. I truly believe that people like me and people like you must lead from the front and not from the back. This difference is what makes a strong and credible messenger that others will follow. So I'm asking each and every one of you to answer the call, which clearly asks that you act today to be vaccinated.